What happened to the set? Nigga, what the fuck you asking me for? I'm just as confused as you. Where Tommy at? Tommy either dead or lost somewhere. Who the fuck said that? You motherfucker. Mr. Ham. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, what the fuck you mean dead or lost? That's a pretty big leap. Tommy wasn't quite ready for the world. And that's what happens when you're ready for the world. You either end up dead or become lost. And that motherfucker haven't been thought of in a long time. So I say you probably did. Again, who the fuck are you? Motherfucker, I just told you. I'm Mr. Ingram. You need to calm your punk ass down. Mr. Hell no, we make Mr. Ingram. What the fuck you mean, you Mr. Ingram? Yeah, true. But you really think it's three motherfuckers controlling one person? Uh, yeah, we've been doing this shit forever. Wrong. I've been doing it for years. And I think something kind of wrong, like serious. And I need to change this shit, because it's fucking with me drastic. Life's going pretty well, you ask me. This ain't your fucking life, this my life. And you motherfuckers done made my shit a whole lot worse. How did we make your life worse? I don't remember that Wisconsin trip. You motherfuckers took about three, four months ago. No, uh, seemed kind of blurry to me. I can't what trip? I don't recall. Let me refresh your memory. Yeah, about $400 altogether. $400. $400 for an interview. Just an interview. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. For the God, like, see, I'm trying to better my career, and if this shit gonna help better my career, fuck it, like, shit, money ain't nothing. What if he don't get the job? Man, I'm fuck what you talking about, man. I'm gonna get the job. Boy, you got another do rag, too. No, I got on the do rag because I don't want to go in there with nappy ass hair. But, dog, uh, alright, you got a do rag, but why I had to be camouflaged, too? <laughs> fuck you, dog, it's the only one I had. <laughs> Thomas, after that, I got back and shit. And I got a call. Here's where we're at. Uh, we're looking for a really good Final Cut Pro 7 editors. There will be some videography work. Um, not a lot, but we will be doing some shooting. And um, if you'd like to explore that with us, I'll have Catherine talk with you directly offline. And one of the things she'll talk to you about is your availability and if you'd like to give it a shot. If you do, then if you find it convenient, I'm in uh, next week on the 27th. So it'd be possible to meet um, if that's convenient for you. If not, you know, we can try to Skype again and we'll talk more. Um, and I apologize for the awkwardness in the technology here. Fuck yeah, we got that job in Shy Right. Must be shooting up some shit for real. The fuck you bitching about? Like I said, life's going pretty good if you ask me. We just got the job in Chicago. And like I said, this ain't your fucking life. And we ain't laying shit. What the fuck you mean we ain't laying shit? The white man just said we got the job. I've been calling him and emailing him, and I can't get a response. If you get a response, let me know. Like I said, y'all fucking my shit up. Well, he told us we got the job point blank. You got the gig. Fuck that white man. That shit don't mean nothing. Like I said, y'all fucked my shit up. You was just saying how you want to control your mind, control what the fuck's happening, and now you want to blame us for decisions? Yeah, you right. And I'm about to take control of that shit. I was talking to a friend the other day. I've been looking up some symptoms of what I might have. And I narrowed it down to either bipolarness schizophrenia or the multi-personality disorder. I think it's multi-personality disorder. So I was talking with my friend and just so happened she had these pills that like, you know, relate to those symptoms. And I'm about to fix my life now. Oh hell no, you can't just be taking some random pills. 
You don't know what type of effect this going to have on this? The fuck? Hell no. Like, fuck that shit. Let us stop this shit. The fuck? What is this? It's some bullshit. What the fuck is... Who the fuck gonna do the video? Who who gonna write the scripts? Oh shit, I ain't got no choice. I ain't about to have three different motherfuckers controlling my life. Y'all got enough material for me to last for a long ass time. So, I'm just operating off that. Until then, y'all motherfuckers locked into my head until further than Y'all niggas don't you hate when you make a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich you ain't got no milk so your shit left dry as fuck? Dry as mouth, feel like I just was smoking like 10 blunts or some shit. But as stated before, it's not about to be three motherfuckers running one motherfucker. That shit is like insane. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyway, I'm getting that work done. I've been taking a few drugs, you know, a few pharmaceutical pills and I've been smoking a lot of weed to keep myself suppressed. However, the mindset won't change. I still got hella scripts written by, written by, written by Nutty, Thomas, and Tommy and shit, so I'ma keep dropping videos. And fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit's about to be kinda fucked up. I've been discovering new mindsets lately. I've been breaking boundaries with my own, so I'm starting to wanna discuss that instead of fucking being three people and discussing one type of mindset that's always conflicting with one another. Fuck that. I wanna discover mindsets in the world. I wanna talk about the drug dealing, gang banging, high school dropout who chilling amongst the Ivy League college kids. I wanna talk about the hunky dory white girl who in the hood where she ain't supposed to be, as you tell it. I wanna talk about biracial relationships. You mad about that shit, ain't you? I wanna talk about motherfuckers saying nigga. I wanna talk about all the young shit, all that drug shit. Planning on fucking your mindset up while opening at the same time.